Sir Kaushing Lee, GBM, KBE, JP, born the 29th of July 1928 in Chaozhou, China, is a Hong Kong business magnate, investor, and philanthropist. According to Forbes, as of February 2017 Lee is the richest person in Asia, and 18th richest person in the world, with an estimated net worth of $31.3 billion. He is currently the chairman of the board for CK Hutchison Holdings. Through it, he is the world's leading port investor, developer, and operator, and the largest health and beauty retailer in Asia and Europe. Lee is one of the most most influential entrepreneurs in Asia, presiding a business empire with a diverse portfolio of businesses from a wide array of industries, including transportation, real estate, financial services, retail, and energy and utilities. His conglomerate company Chung Kong Holdings is influential in many sectors of the Hong Kong economy and makes up four of the aggregate market capitalization of the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. Forbes magazine and the Forbes family honored Lee Kaohsiung with the first ever Malcolm S. Forbes Lifetime Achievement Award on the 5th of September 2006, in Singapore. In in spite of his wealth, Lee has cultivated a reputation for leading a frugal no-frills lifestyle, and is known to wear simple black dress shoes and an inexpensive Seiko wristwatch. He continues to live in the same house as he has for decades, which has now become one of the most expensive districts in Hong Kong, Deep Water Bay in Hong Kong Island. Lee is also regarded as one of Asia's most generous philanthropists, donating over $2.56 billion to charity and other various philanthropic causes. Lee is often referred to as Superman in Hong Kong because of his business prowess. Lee Kaohsiung was born in Chaozhou in Guangdong Province, China, in 1928 to Tioku parents. Due to his father's death, he was forced to leave school before the age of 15 and found a job in a plastics trading company where he worked 16 hours a day. In 1950 he started his own company, Chung Kong Industries. From manufacturing plastics, Lee developed his company into a leading real estate investment company in Hong Kong that was listed on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange in 1971. Chung Kong expanded by a acquiring Hutchison Wampoa and Hong Kong Electric Holdings Limited in 1979 and 1985 respectively. Equals equals business career equals equals. A Harvard Business School article summarizes Liss' career in the following way. From his humble beginnings in China as a teacher's son, a refugee, and later as a salesman, Lee provides a lesson in integrity and adaptability. Liss' businesses cover almost every facet of life in Hong Kong, from electricity to telecommunications, from real estate to retail, from shipping to the internet. The Chung Kong Group's market capitalization is $1,193 billion, $154 billion, as of April 2016. This includes the group's controlling stake in 15 listed companies around the world. The group operates in over 50 countries and employs around 300,000 staff worldwide. Equals 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 plastics manufacturing equals equals equals. In 1950, after learning how to operate a plant, Lee founded a plastic manufacturing company in Hong Kong with personal savings and funds borrowed from relatives. Lee avidly read trade publications and business news before deciding to supply the world with high-quality plastic flowers at low prices. Lee learned the technique of mixing color with plastics that resemble real flowers. After retooling his shop and hiring the best technicians he could find, he prepared the plant for a visit from a large foreign buyer. Impressed with the quality of Lee's plant, the buyer placed a large order. A few years later, Lee grew to be the largest supplier of plastic flowers in Asia and made a fortune selling them. Equals 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 real estate equals equals equals. In 1958, recognizing the rents would continue to rise, Lee decided to purchase a site and develop his own factory building. An opportunity to acquire land arrived after the 1967 riots were in full swing when many people fled Hong Kong, and as a result, property prices plummeted. Lee, believing the political crisis would be temporary, and property prices would eventually rise, bought parcels of land at low prices. By 1971, Lee officially named his real estate development company Chung Kong, named after Chung Kong, Chang Jiang or the Yangtze River, the longest river in China. Chung Kong Holdings was publicly listed in Hong Kong Stock Exchange in 1972. During board meetings, Lee stated on a number of occasions his goal of surpassing the Jardines-owned Hong Kong land as a leading developer. The success successful bid by Chung Kong for development sites above the Central and Admiralty MTR stations in 1977 was the key to challenging Hong Kong land as the premier property developer in Hong Kong. Despite its size, Jardines decided in the 1980s to protect itself from hostile takeover by Lee or other outside investors. The company implemented a cross-shareholding structure that was designed to place control in the hands of Britain's Keswick family despite their less than 10 holdings in the group. In 1984, the company also moved its legal domicile from 
from Hong Kong to another British overseas territory, Bermuda, in anticipation of the transfer of sovereignty of Hong Kong to People's Republic of China in 1997, equals 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 ports and electricity equals equals equals. In 1979, Lee closed a unique transaction and acquired his current flagship company, Hutchison Wampoa Limited, from HSBC. The purchase created a massive conglomerate with business interests in multiple industries. The most notable branch of his business is the investment in container port facilities around the world, including in Hong Kong, Canada, Delta Port in Vancouver, China, the United Kingdom, Rotterdam, Panama, Bahamas and many developing countries. In total, LIS businesses handle about 12 of all container port capacity in the world. Equals 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 retail equals equals equals. A subsidiary of C.K. Hutchison, the A.S. Watson Group, A.S.W., is a retail operator with over 12,000 stores. A.S.W. also produces and distributes water products and beverages in the region. Equals 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 asset trader equals equals equals. C.K. Hutchison Group has the reputation of being an astute asset trader. It builds up new New businesses and sells them off when shareholder value could be created. Huge profits were obtained in the sale of its interest in Orange to Manisman Group in 1999, making a profit of $15.12 billion. In 2006 Lee sold 20 of Hutchison's ports business to Singapore rival PSA Corp., making a $3.12 billion profit on a $4 billion deal. Group subsidiary Hutchison Telecommunications sold a controlling stake of 67 in Hutchison SR, a joint venture mobile operator in India, to vote Vodafone for $11.1 billion. It had invested roughly $2 billion earlier. Equals 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 Internet and technology equals equals equals. Lee has also made a foray into the technology business, where his investment and venture capital firm Horizons Ventures is specifically allocated towards backing new internet and technology startup firms, and bought a stake in Double Twist. His other firm, the Lee Koshing Foundation, bought a 0.8 stake in social networking website Facebook for $120 million in two separate rounds, and invested an estimated $50 million in the music streaming service Spotify. Sometime between late 2009 and early 2010, Lee Koshing led a $15.5 million Series B round of financing for Siri Inc. In 2011, Horizons Ventures invested in Sumly, a website summarizing app. Notably, the investment made Nick Deloisio, Sumly's founder, the world's youngest person to receive a venture capital investment at just 15 years old. In 2012, Horizons Ventures invested 2.3 $3 million in Wibbits, a company that provides a text-to-video technology that can automatically convert any article post or feed on the web into a video in a matter of seconds. In August 2012, Lee acquired a stake in Ginger Software Incorporated. In 2013, Horizons Ventures invested in Bitcoin payment company BitPay. In February 2015, Horizons Ventures participated in a $30 million Series C funding round in Zoom Video Communications. Equals 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 Australian tax dispute equals equals equals. In 2013 a claim was lodged by the Australian Tax Office ATO, against Chung Kong Infrastructure CKI, to pay approximately $370 million in unpaid tax, penalties and interest relating to tax disputes concerning SA Power Networks and Victoria Power Networks. The dispute was resolved in 2015 when CKI entered into an agreement with the ATO. No penalty was levied against CKI and a sum of approximately $24 million was refunded from the $64 million previously paid to the ATO by CTI. Equals 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 others equals equals equals. Besides business through his flagship companies Chung Kong Property Holdings and CK Hutchison Holdings Limited, Lee Ka Koshing has also personally invested extensively in real estate in Singapore and Canada. He was the single largest shareholder of Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce, CIBC, the fifth largest bank in Canada, until the sale of his share in 2005, with all proceedings donated, see below. He is also the majority shareholder of a major energy company, Husky Energy, based in Alberta, Canada. In January 2005, Lee announced plans to sell his $1.2 billion CAD stake in the Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce, with all proceeds going to private charitable foundations established by Lee, including the Lee Koshing Foundation in Hong Kong and the Lee Koshing, Canada, foundation based in Toronto. Lee was the non-executive director of the Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation since 1980 and became deputy chairman of the bank in 1985. He was also deputy chairman of HSBC Holdings in 1991-1992. Equals equals personal life equals equals. His two sons, Victor Lee and Richard Lee, are also prominent 
prominent figures in the Hong Kong business scene, Victor Lee works directly with his father as co-managing director and deputy chairman of C.K. Hutchison Holdings, while Richard Lee is the head of PCCW, the largest telecom company in Hong Kong. They are both Canadian citizens. Lee is famously plainly dressed for a Hong Kong tycoon. In the 1990s he wore a $50 timepiece from Citizen Watch Co., and plain ties. He later wore a Seiko. In 2016, he wore a $500 Citizen Watch. Lee remains physically fit, and says that no matter what time he sleeps at night, he gets up before 6 a.m. each morning to play golf for about an hour and a half. His golfing partner is Hong Kong movie mogul Raymond Chow. Lee says that during that time, dot the 90 minutes that I have are mine. His preferable amount of time for sleep is 8 hours. It is also said that he walks on the treadmill for 15 minutes a day at noon. Equals equals awards and honors equals equals. Grand Bohemia Medal. Knight Commander of the Order of the British Empire. Commander. Legion Dunner. Equals equals politics equals equals. On the 4th of August 2011 at the interim results announcement for Hutchison Wampoa, Lee endorsed Henry Tang for the forthcoming chief executive election. Then Lee said you all can be just like me, one person one vote. The media then looked at Lee in disbelief, and pointed out that regular citizens do not get one person one vote. Lee then tried to laugh it off and said maybe in 2017 they will have one person one vote to choose the chief executive, I probably just said it a little early. Lee was, however, criticized by Xinhua for not being unambiguous in his opposition to the umbrella movement protests and his support for Lung. Later, Prior to the Lejka vote, Lee said that the largest threat to Hong Kong's future was if the government failed to ensure passage of the 2014-5 round of political reform. Lee's business empire has presence around the world, including China. Lee came under attack from Global Times in early 2015, when his companies put out word that it was considering selling prime Shanghai and Beijing properties. It became apparent that Lee aimed at re-weighting his asset portfolio to more stable and transparent markets in the West. Concerted attacks ensued and went into a crescendo as China China's economy slowed down dramatically in the second half, and the central government sought a way to stem the capital outflows. Specific reproaches were that his asset disposals were an act of ingratitude and immoral at such a sensitive juncture. Security Times, a People's Daily publication, estimated that Lee has sold at least 73.8 billion yuan worth of assets since 2014. Lee's holding companies denied divesting in China, saying that its asset disposals were being undertaken in the ordinary course of business. The attacks stopped abruptly several weeks weeks later, when editorials in official publications such as People's Daily, Beijing Youth Daily took a neutral stance in unison. Equals equals charities equals equals. List donation in 1981 resulted in the founding of Shantou University, Stu, and the Shantou University Medical College, near his hometown of Cheazhou. Li has earmarked grants of $8 billion through 2018 to develop Stu. In 2013, Li granted US $130 million to establish the Guangdong Technion, Israel Institute of Technology in Guangdong. Dong Province as a joint venture between Technion, Israel Institute of Technology and Shantou University. In September 2001, the newest tower in the Hong Kong Polytechnic University was named after Lee, following a $100 million donation to the university. The Lee Koshing Center in Cambridge, England, houses a Cancer Research UK facility, which is a part of the University of Cambridge. The center was named after Mr. Lee following a £5.3 million donation, and was opened in his presence in May 2002. The Lee Koshing Foundation endowed a professorship of oncology at the university in 2007 with a subsequent gift of £2 million. In November 2002, the Chung Kong Graduate School of Business in China was founded with a large donation from the Li Kaohsiung Foundation. The Li Kaohsiung Library at the Singapore Management University is also named in his honor after a $11.5 million donation in 2002 to the Higher Education Institution. After the 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake disaster, Li reportedly pledged a total of $3 million in 2005, Lee announced a $1 billion, $128 million, donation to the Faculty of Medicine, University of Hong Kong. It was renamed to Lee Kaohsiung Faculty of Medicine on 1 January 2006, which provoked controversy between the university and quite a number of alumni of the faculty, notably Kwok Kaki, over the university's naming procedures. Also in 2005, Lee donated $40 million to the University of California, Berkeley, citing that he was impressed with the university 
university's accomplishments in the Biosciences. In recognition of Liz's donation, the university has named the campus new Biosciences facility the Lee Koshing Center for Biomedical and Health Sciences, which opened in October 2011. In 2014, the Lee Koshing Foundation provided a $10 million gift to support UC Berkeley and UC San Francisco to jointly launch the Innovative Genomics Initiative (IGI) based on a new technology discovered at UC Berkeley by Professor Jennifer A. Doudna, executive director of the initiative, a longtime supporter of Stanford University since the 1980s. Lee is the principal benefactor to the $90 million Lee Koshing Center for Learning and Knowledge, which opened in fall 2010 and is now the headquarters for the Stanford University School of Medicine. On the 9th of March 2007, Lee Koshing contributed SGD $100 million to the Lee Kuan Yew School of Public Policy in the National University of Singapore. Also, to honor and recognize drive, list support and generosity, LKYSPP will name one of its three buildings at the historic Bukit Timah campus after him. Lee Koshing donated C25 million dollars to St. Michael's Hospital in Toronto to found the Lee Koshing Knowledge Institute, which will serve as a medical research and education center in downtown Toronto. Lee Koshing donated C25 million dollars to the University of Alberta to found the Lee Koshing Institute of Virology. Lee Koshing, through the Lee Koshing Foundation, donated 30 million dollars, 3.85 million dollars to aid relief efforts in the 2008 Sichuan earthquake. Lee Koshing donated C6.6 million dollars to McGill University in 2013 to establish three exchange programs: the Lee Koshing Initiative for Innovation in Legal Education, the Lee Koshing Liberal Arts Exchange Initiative, and the Lee Koshing Program in International Business between McGill and Shanto University. In 2013, Lee Koshing donated 2 million dollars to the University of California, San Francisco to support their Advanced Precision Medicine Initiative. The funds will be used to build a worldwide network of clinicians and researchers, launch leadership exchanges between UCSF and China, and create a systems pharmacology program to develop more precise medications. With a donation from Lee of over $1.7 billion, T.S. Zishan Monastery was developed over a period of 10 years as an institute of Chinese Buddhist practice and education as well as a place for spiritual contemplation. It was opened to the public in April 2015. See also equals equals the Hongs. List of Hong Kong people by net worth. List field. Equals equals references equals 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 external links equals equals. Profile at Chung Kong Holdings.